I'm down in Florida on vacation, and we bought some stuff. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a barn for my cousin Ella. Since she has some horses, but doesn't have anything. Um, my grandma bought the stuff, and me, my dad, and my grandma are going to um, help with me. You're going to be able to see some of the things that we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is make a bunch of fence. You're going to take your first popsicle stick and you're going to mark on a piece of paper 8 centimeters, 7 centimeters, and 3.5 centimeters. You're going to now I'm going to cut off this bottom line and what you're going to do is you're going to make three of these sticks for each piece of fence. Now we're going to make the fence, and also when you cut the bottom pieces off, save them, because we're going to need it for the end. Working together, me and my dad made 12 uh, pieces of fence in about 30 minutes. So this is the box that we chose to do Ella's barn with. And we did five style dividers and it's, go it's 63, the box is 63 centimeters. And um, every 10.5 centimeters we're going to put a stall divider in at. And it took us an hour and 15 minutes to make these five stall dividers. Um, and the first thing we did to the box is we cut off this flap. You can see on the other side. Um, we cut this flap off right here. Now we've cut off this lip. We also cut off the um, sides here. Um, and I'll show you guys why later. Now we're going to go in our first div style divider. Now we're going to do the chain for a cross. Um, so you're going to take your wire and you're going to cut it and then you're going to take your piece, put it in between your fingers grab it, put one down, put one up it should look like that afterwards So now I'm going to glue on my hook and they're all five and a half centimeters high and I turn the box sideways so that um, it makes it easier to glue. Now that I have all the hooks on, I installed all of the chain and stuff on except for this one so I'm going to show you how to do this one
So we're to put fencing here, and what we did first is we added popsicle sticks along here. So now I um, put the fencing in. It's the same type as this type of fencing, but this is 8.3 from tip to tip, and the um, gate is a full size piece of fence, same size as one piece of fence, and this is the same as 8.3. It's a swinging gate. So now we have our gate, and our gate just has um, wire and it comes out and goes down. And we made two hoops here. And if you, I have a swinging gate video, it um, is exactly how you do that here. So now we're going to put the roofing on, and I'm going to put some glue right next to the L to make it straight. So now we have added the roof into Ella's barn. You can see that we added popsicle sticks along the top, and we also added these to help the roof be propped up. We also added this lip to make it look nice. This is the finished project. This is Ella's barn. It took my dad, my grandma, and I about six hours. Um, we can add to it um, later if we want, when she gets more, shall I? Um, hope you guys enjoy. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Bye! Horses can come out. That's yours? Right, come out. This is yours? The fencing. That's you yours. can make uh, you can make anything you want out of the fencing. Squares, small squares, big squares, anything, paddocks, anything. How do you look these good? come off and on? They slide off and on. Oh look so it! Can, it's a slider. So you can come off in the back here. It's how the polar bears are in there. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of them, huh?